Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin. Literally, here I am at the coin shop and ready to tell you a little bit about what happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas. But first, a little bit of housekeeping. Thanks to everyone who uh, takes the time to, of course, like and share our videos. We appreciate all of the support. Uh, also, those of you who have done some business with us, have some of you have been asking for something, and I'm going to tell you about something we're working on. You know, a lot of the stuff that goes up on our website or on eBay, but especially our website is mostly slabbed coins because as we've transitioned into uh, this modern technological world, that's been what's been easiest for us to do, folks. But for those of you who've watched the videos and seen that we have a coin shop, no, I'm not going to try to get the bid board up online because I am technologically impaired. But also, you know, we have trays of collector coins, and uh, we're going to try to start getting some of those listed up on our website and uh, try to be as honest, accurate, and fair as we can with the overall grading and pricing and tell you if there's little spots and stuff. And um, thank you. Okay, moving forward, I've got the uh, Denver show October 12th, uh, 13th, and 14th that I'll be at. And uh, the next day, October 15th, is the Tucson Coin Club show. And uh, the crew will be there. I will still be traveling probably. Uh, and in January, January 19 and 20 in Tucson here at the Casino del Sol, there is the Tucson Invitational Coin Show that uh, I am hosting. Y'all are invited. I expect a lot of you from the Midwest to come. You're going to see a whole lot of good dealers uh, that sometimes you already see, like the guys that I just met in Vegas that you'll see at Long Beach and other places out west. It's going to be a really nice regional show that we're going to do annually. And I uh, hope to see you all down there, TucsonCoinShow.com, for some more of the details there. And uh, we look forward to having you around for that. All right, folks, Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. How's the market? What happened? So uh, the Vegas Coin Show, thanks to uh, Don and Frank for putting that on. Uh, CK Shows, they do that show three times a year. Thank you to everyone at the um, Las Vegas Numismatic Society who said hi and pitches in at that show. Uh, the show is a very nice show regionally, and one of the things that I forget about is that Vegas has some of the easiest flights, cheapest flights in and out from all over the country. So there are a lot of people at the Vegas Coin Show from all over the country. I was really intrigued when I found a lot of people from the Midwest and the East Coast that come to that show. And uh, so it was interesting to see how many people traveled to it. So it's actually a regional show, but it's a little bit of a regional show plus plus, because especially for semi-retired or older folk or maybe sometimes younger folk who are married and uh, you know the husband says you know honey I've got a coin show I want to go to ah but what are you talking about you want to go to Vegas yeah well okay here's a little tip lead with the Vegas part follow up with the coin show part and don't do it the other way around and so you see people that they travel as couples there's quite a few couples there of varying uh, age ranges who clearly were there to enjoy a show and whatever else Vegas may have to offer and get the coin show, which which was kind of fun. Uh, the market is still strong at this point in time, uh, despite gold and silver demand being down. Uh, that's probably a whole other video for another day, but there seems to be some correlation between uh, metal markets and coin markets historically, from my perspective. But you know, that doesn't mean that that's going to be the same moving forward. Uh, but dealers and collectors alike are still kind of. Uh, fighting for better inventory, uh, and uh, that's something that's good to see. Yeah, there was plenty of strong buying. There wasn't a whole lot of whining. Uh, and so these are, for me, market indicators, because I've been through plenty of markets where people thought it was the end of the world or the end of the coin market, and uh, we are not in that. We're still seeing a lot of competition. Now, one of the things that I think we talked about near the beginning of this year was the fact that we should see some demand drop in certain areas where market was probably overpriced, and I think we've seen that, and I'm not surprised by that. Hopefully you're not surprised by that. But even if we start seeing a cooling in the marketplace, I don't think it's the type of thing that anyone should really be concerned with. In other words, if you're a long-term collector and prices start coming down, I consider that to be a good thing, right? I mean, that's the type of thing. If Hey, when something's on sale, we get excited about it, right? But when our coin prices come down a little bit, people start you know, kind of getting upset about things. Um, you know, the only, the only people I think that usually really affects is someone who's like really trying to time the market and sell off, but that's not most of us, right? That's not really most of us. So, uh, it looks like, uh, at the Vegas show, there are all the types of dealers. Um, uh, there are 
bullion dealers, U.S. world paper guys who specialize just in paper, and so you've got a pretty broad array of um, of types of dealers. And I, I asked quite a few of them how their show went, with of course some mixed results. There were some people who were like, I didn't really have a great show, but uh, there were people who have some niche markets who said it was one of their better shows. So one of the paper dealers that I spoke to there, he said it's one of the best shows he's had. Um, the bullion dealers always seem to do well, even in a down market, they seem to be fairly happy. Uh, and the world dealers that were near me all said that they actually had a pretty decent show overall. So what's fun about the Vegas show is it has a pretty broad array of types of material that you can look into and, and purchase. And uh, the show was fairly well attended. You're talking about a Friday, Saturday, Sunday show. Of course, by Sunday midday, everyone's packing up. But a lot of dealers stayed all, you know, most of the day Saturday. I know some people have to catch flights and get out of town. I understand that. Uh, but the show was actually very well attended both on Friday and Saturday. I would guess that Saturday didn't have as many attendees. But the attendees who were there Saturday were all looking for very specific items. Uh, they were still very active shoppers. All of those, I think, are good signs towards the market. I don't know that there is one thing that stood out as like the ultimate sales item um, that people were looking for because everyone who came in the door had a different want list. And so I had people looking for everything from Better Date Morgans to um, decent type coins that are harder to locate. And uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff that was moving off the shelf. Uh, the wholesale, as I said, the wholesale market was still very strong. Lots of guys fighting for uh, for different types of inventory. So if you ever get a chance to make it to one of the Vegas shows uh, and you're going to be in Vegas for some reason, just kind of always glance and see because that show happens three times a year. Uh, I will try to continue to keep August in the rotation for myself. And it was really great to see a bunch of you down there who stopped by and said hi. Thank you for that. And uh, had some good times, some good conversations about the possible futures of the coin market. And uh, in the meantime, you know, there's a I think we had probably quite a few new purchases. So for what we did, uh, I ended up buying a lot of U.S. and world stuff this time, and uh, a lot of the U.S. stuff. I think we, I think I sold a lot of it pretty quick, uh, just because I was trying to find stuff with good eye appeal, and good eye appeal always sells. So uh, in the meantime, y'all, thanks so much for uh, for joining me today, and uh, please, if you would, share, like, subscribe, all of that good YouTubey stuff, and uh, have a wonderful day, guys. Oh, you can watch more videos. They pop up here on the sides. You can click on those. Thanks for watching.